bit right now out to Meredith Morakovitz with the clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. And let's talk about offense or the lack thereof in the opening game of the series yesterday and some lineup changes today. Meredith, what do you have for us? Bob, you're not going to see Joey Gallo or Glaber Torres in tonight's starting lineup just a day, according to Aaron Boone. Remember, the Yankees are in a stretch where they're playing 20 straight games, so you figured Aaron Boone would pick some spots to give guys a day off. Now, Glaber Torres pretty closely removed from coming off the injured list. He had an error yesterday in that game. Uh, he struggled a little bit defensively since coming back, and Joey Gallo has really struggled at the plate since joining the Yankees. Just a 130 average six homers 28 walks 61 strikeouts that is the most strikeouts in major league baseball over that span since july 30th he was out there in the cage at about 245 this afternoon doing some early work working with marcus timms trying to get right at the plate after that session i caught up with joey gallo to ask him about some of the frustration he may be feeling right now obviously you want to play well especially coming to a new team so um but you know, at the same time, it's, it's not the first time, you know, it's baseball and you're going you're to struggle sometimes, but um, obviously like working hard to get, get back to, you know, where I know I can be and helping the team win. So, uh, you know, it's, it's frustrating not, not, not winning games, uh, but that's, that's, like I said, it's part of baseball and uh, you just got to keep working through it and show up every day and, uh, you know, figure it out. Do you think a day can help you just kind of clear your head and get some more work in? Um, yeah, you know, I think I think a day is good every once in a while, uh, especially the street, the stretch that we've had. We've had a really tough, tough schedule, to be honest with you, um, playing a lot of makeup games and uh, doubleheaders and whatnot, not having many days off. So um, I think that I think that will help and you know, just just kind of get your legs back under you and get some work in without having to worry about, you know, playing and uh, see what happens. I've been with Texas for 10 years, so there's a lot of relationships I built there, a lot of of trust and stuff that they had in me uh, and that's why I'm trying to build that trust with them as well like you know that they trust me right. as well um, but you know it's it, it's like like I said we were looking at video from years past to just try to figure out getting back into that um, you know that rhythm and that setup that I had and the, uh, that swing that I was taking um, it's tougher you know they're learning me right. and I'm learning them at the same time so um, it, it might take a little bit of time but uh, it's, no, it's nice. There's no excuses to still have to go out and perform. It's, it's, it's on me. It's not on anybody else.